I am joined here by the gorgeous Yasmin. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Now, you've made a name for yourself in the DJ world and now as a solo artist. Are your DJing days over? No, my DJ days will never be over. I'm actually DJing tonight. So like, I always try and keep up the two. It's hard to do both, you know, because being an artist is very demanding and, you know, both days and nights. But um, DJing is something I thoroughly enjoy and it's what started me in, like, got me passionate about music. And I love, like, as a DJ, being up on all the new stuff. It gives you a really good perspective. So I'll never stop. Okay. Yeah. And how does Wireless compare to other festivals you played at? Number one is the lack of mud, which I love. That's why it's one of my favorites. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not into mud. I'm not into camping. And that's two things Wireless does not do. So I love that. And it's just nice because it's, you know, it's local for me. I live in London. You can literally get the tube here, the tube home. Um, and it's just a really fun environment. The lineup's wicked every year. The backstage area is lovely. It's so well organized. And it's just great. You can hang out. It's easy to go and watch acts and hang out and have fun. You say yourself that you wanted your album to have a British sound and you've mainly used UK producers. Are you a little bit afraid that, you know, it might not appeal to the US market? Um, not necessarily, because I think um, a good song is a good song. I think someone like Adele proved that tenfold, you know. She's made incredible songs um, that really resonated with people. And that's what, I think that's what it is about. Like, at the end of the day, it's not too, like, when I say British, I necessarily mean that kind of rawness. Like, with a lot of, and I don't really like to think I make pop music. I like to think it's a bit different, but even if I was in that bracket, if you look at American pop music, it's very perfect. Like, it's very kind of sort of compressed and auto-tuned and literally every note is perfect, every drum is perfect. And I just like, I mean, I like to think that me personally, I'm a little rough around the edges and I, that's why I want my music to be a bit raw and a bit gritty. And that's why I work with people I've worked with, you know, I'm doing quite a lot of work with Shy FX, I think, um, you know, I've done Labyrinth, and I like to keep it with that kind of grittiness, especially someone like Shy FX, who's a drum and bass jungle legend. Like, he is the king of that sound, those raw breaks, and that's why I want to keep that theme. There's no point trying to do everything that everyone else is doing. So, yeah. Would you ever want to try and crack America? Definitely. I think, um, not just America, but the world. Like, I'd love to, I want to go to Japan, I want to go to, like, Australia, I want to go around Europe um, and of course America, I'd love to. I mean I've, I've been really lucky, I've actually like, I've had some interest from labels over there because I signed independently over here, it gives me an option of who I would kind of like to go with over in the States. Um, and the good thing is I've been having chats, playing them my music and they do get it, so you know once the time's right, definitely want to give it a shot. Okay, so watch out world, Yasmin's coming. Yes, so you've been on tour with loads of massive names, yeah. Jason Status, NERD, EVE. Have you got any rock and roll stories that you'd like to share with us? Rock and roll stories. Um, nothing too, nothing too scandalous, but it's the usual partying. I support example, and he's crazy. We just like we had so much fun. We'd go out and like cause havoc in nightclubs. He was like throwing buckets of limes everywhere. We got chucked out. We're like, oh, we got chucked out for throwing limes. It's so hardcore. And then Chase and Status, we didn't do it. We didn't go out a lot, but on the last night of the tour, we all went out. As I had Tim Petit giving me a piggyback down the street. And it was fun. Like those guys are just awesome. And I had a blast. I love touring. I love being with a band. I love being on the road. So it's fun. Excellent. Well, enjoy the rest of the festival. And thanks for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Have a good one.